Bismillah yes, Rahman yes. Rahim. Uh, thank you very much, uh, management, for giving me an opportunity to talk about a very, very sensitive topic, uh, that is pediatric heart transplant. Uh, thank you. Thank you. So, being clinicians, uh, most of us have come across uh, despairing faces and of unfortunate pediatric population in heart failure, and we feel pity for the poor family, offering them repeated admissions and optimizing medical management is the best that we can offer them. I'm sure most of us have about thought about heart transplant, but unfortunately that has not... Uh, Recording actually, in progress. That has actually not been uh, done uh, yet in Pakistan. <clears throat> First pediatric heart transplant was performed three days after heart uh, transplant done uh, by Christian Bernard in an adult, uh, uh, in, in, uh, for an adult. So this was done by Dr. Adrian and his colleagues uh, in US. Currently worldwide, uh, amongst the heart transplant, 14% of patients uh, constitute pediatric heart transplants. First pediatric heart transplant uh, was, uh, 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 now we're talking about our neighbors in India, they started their program in mid-1990s, and following path, uh, uh, legislation uh, approval, uh, their heart transplant program grew very rapidly. And currently, they perform around 180 to 190 cases in an year. According to this study, we have seen that around 1,000 new cases of uh, uh, heart failure are inducted in the heart registry. Unfortunately, there is no central registry available uh, to recruit these patients. Prevalence of heart failure in pediatric population can be recorded by re uh, re registering patients in heart failure clinics. However, there is no central registry available. Availability of donors by uh, in, uh, taking a close look at the patients who are uh, brain dead and uh, remain on the ventilator can also be recorded. So this will explain us the availability of the do or, uh, donor organs, and moreover, it will also explain us uh, that how many patients are available in the, in the pool and who are waiting for the transplant. So this will really give us a brief idea of a need assessment of the program. So uh, we need to have a multi-pronged strategy to uh, address this issue. Uh, we need to uh, uh, give awareness to the uh, general public and also kill the social myths that are associated with the transplant. We need to address the religious aspects and then the political aspects as well. Uh, and uh, this has to be done simultaneously if we want to run a, a pediatric transplant program. So once the political issues are being addressed, then legislation and financial constraints can also be addressed in the same go. So first of all, creating awareness in the public. I think this is uh, one of the bi biggest hurdle that is uh, available and that needs to be addressed on priority. For uh, addressing this uh, and creating awareness in public, social media has to be actively involved, which not only involves print media, but also social media in form of Facebook, uh, uh, Instagram, and all these uh, platforms. Religious and social aspects have to be addressed uh, on priority because uh, there are certain hindrances that we feel because of the religious scholars and then those have to be also softened so that pediatric transplant can be uh, made a, a serious, uh, I mean, we can make a serious progress in this. For religious issues, uh, this single ayah for a sensible uh, religious scholar is enough which explains that saving a one single soul uh, can save the whole humanity. So the talks with the uh, religious scholars uh, needs to be recorded and broadcasted uh, so that uh, people get aware of the religious background of this program. Same way, legislation has to be passed for this, politicians need to be brought, uh, uh, brought to the picture and then uh, the protocols and guidelines have to be uh, finalized. Uh, to start with, we can designate three centers in Pakistan covering the north, middle, and south of Pakistan. A collaboration with the local hospitals has to be made, which uh, give us an exact number of the uh, brain-dead people and which give us access to their parents so that we can talk to them in detail and we can convince them for a heart transplant. 
we need to have a very solid partnership and collaboration, uh, not only with local healthcare organization, with government agencies, and with also with f international teams, which can come and uh, help us to uh, train our surgeons, our cardiologists uh, in organ procurement, uh, tissue typing, and then uh, heart uh, procurement, and then uh, the, the transplant, fine details of the transplant, and post-operative management, which is very important and has to be dealt with intensive care and cardiologist help. Again, funding, uh, it's, it might cost around 10 to 12 million, uh, which is a huge amount, and we can understand that allocation of these funds is paramount importance. So again, uh, if the government is uh, really convinced and uh, we are able to move the politicians in this, so uh, hopefully these funds will be, uh, can be allocated and we will be able to run the program. Now, uh, once the program is being uh, started, then we need to develop an infrastructure and develop the facilities uh, which will help us uh, to move the program forward and uh, protocols and guidelines have to be finalized which will explain us the organ procurement and selection criteria for the donors and uh, 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 the rest of the details can be finalized in these protocols and guidelines. The, once the running program uh, is a, a, a has to be monitored by very strict quality control just to make sure that the strict standards are being met and uh, uh, the program is done in the improvement of the quality. So uh, commencing a cardiac transplant program is definitely challenging, but it's not an impossible task. If we take the stakeholders uh, on board and if uh, we have a very strong leadership with us, so uh, I'm sure we can run this program very successfully in this country and uh, we can bring back the smile of these pity children back on their faces. Thank you very much.